For the latest film interviews, reviews and everything making news in pop culture, subscribe to Film Companion now. In his 1901 semi-autobiographical novella Tonio Kroger, Thomas Mann tells the story of a famous but tormented writer. One of my favorite lines is, "He is mistaken who believes he may pluck a single leaf from the laurel tree of art without paying for it with his life." Chaitanya Tamhane's The Disciple is the cinematic rendition of this. The Disciple is a meditative character study of a Hindustani classical vocalist named Sharad Nerulkar. We first meet Sharad in 2006 when he's 24 years old, filled with devotion to the tradition and a determination to achieve a spiritual purity in his art. Sharad refuses to get a job and immerses himself in this arduous journey of perfecting his talent. Late at night he drives through the near empty streets of Mumbai listening to the recorded lectures of Mai, an iconic singer who rejected patrons, audiences, fame. We don't see Mai but we hear her with the same reverence that Sharad does. Bharatiya Shastriya Sangeetala Margi Sangeet Ugits nahi manat. The role has been voiced by acclaimed Marathi director Sumitra Bhave who passed away this month. Mai's pursuit seems mythical. In her lecture she says that she sang for her guru and god and that this music demands the unblemished mind and minimalist life of an ascetic. Hindustani classical Mai Wands is an eternal quest and will take many lifetimes to master. Sharad's own guru who was Mai's disciple tells Sharad that until they were 40 they didn't think of anything else except practice. But time frays Sharad's idealism. Ascetism in the hustling and bustling city of Mumbai is a difficult practice. Sharad continues to serve his guru caring for him as he grows older massaging his legs taking him to the doctor even repaying his loans but his tapasya contrasts sharply with his lukewarm career in a cultural marketplace where people prefer easy listening and vocal acrobatics for all his brilliance sharad's guru remains unsung sharad is also racked by self doubt and haunted by thoughts of mediocrity and failure His father who initiated him into music couldn't succeed because his talent was smaller than his passion. Slowly we see a hollowed out anxiety setting into Sharad's eyes. You can almost hear him thinking, is this all there is? The disciple might be set in the esoteric world of Indian classical music, but its concerns are universal. Sharad struggled to negotiate between the lofty demands of the tradition and the tough reality of survival in a city like Mumbai is the struggle of artists everywhere. He performs in nondescript halls and watches stoically as a young girl on a television talent show rises to fame. Every step of her ascent takes her further away from her original self. In the last visual of her, she's on this gaudy set painted with makeup singing a forgettable film song, but she's made a mark. Meanwhile, Sharad continues to offer his hard-earned artistry to a handful of listeners. His uncompromising pursuit of perfection becomes harder to justify or sustain. The Disciple is a film about artistic rigor told with great formal rigor. Chaitanya constructs Sharad's narratives with long takes and wide establishing shots. The camera stays still. The pacing is purposefully slow. This isn't a film with big plot twists or these overblown emotions. The story unfolds in a low-key naturalistic manner. Like Sharad, Chaitanya is pursuing a certain purity of vision which requires commitment from the viewer. You don't need to know Hindustani classical music to appreciate the disciple. I don't. But you do need to submit to Chaitanya's challenging poetry. The immersive sound design, the studied frames, and Aditya Modak's melancholic performance. Aditya, a musician who makes his acting debut as Sharath, transforms externally and internally as we watch. It's astounding. The disciple comes to us after winning accolades around the world. It was the first film from India to be selected in the main competition of a European film festival in almost 20 years. It debuted at the prestigious Venice Film Festival where it bagged the best screenplay award and the Fipreski award given by international film critics. The disciple then played at a slew of film festivals including Toronto, New York and Zurich. This is a film with muted but mysterious gifts. You can watch it on Netflix. For more reviews like this, subscribe to Film Companion and do go on our website filmcompanion.in and check out our latest initiative Front Row where you can register and be on Zoom calls with some of the most exciting artists working in the business today. What are you waiting for?